If your left, right, up and down controls are not working on Mario Brothers and Nintendo 64, this is how you fix it. On your control panel, you're going to push the top middle button and the coin button at the same time while you're in the game. So when I push these two buttons, you're going to see this screen pop up. You're going to hit your B button, which is your bottom left right here. And then you're going to use your joystick to scroll over once to go into this little area here. This is your settings. And you're going to scroll down until you see input. See it says input right there. And then you're going to select it with your A button, which is right here in the middle of your controller. And then you're going to scroll down until you see port one binds. And you're going to hit your A button again to select that. Then you're going to scroll down to where it says D-pad, up, down, left, right. Now the way to set these is you're going to push your A button. So we're going to start right here on D-pad up. You know that I'm on it because you see that it's made it larger, so make sure that it is enlarged. And you're going to push your A button, and then you're going to push your joystick up. And you'll see over here, we'll respond to it. So hit the A button, and we're going to hit up. And we're going to go down to the next one. To D-pad down, hit the A button. Hit your joystick down. Now we're going to go down to the next one. D-pad left, hit your A button, and go to the left. Go down to the next one. D-pad right. Push the A button and put your joystick to the right. Okay, now you're going to push your B button, which is the bottom left. That's going to exit this screen. And you're going to push it one more time. That's going to bring you back to your settings. You're going to go over to the left one time with your joystick. Then you're going to go down to the bottom where it says configuration file. See configuration file. And you're going to push the A button. You're going to go down here to where it says Save Current Configuration. Hit your A button. And then you're going to go down one more time where it says Save New Configuration. Once you've done that, you're going to hit your B button. And I want you to go all the way to the bottom until it goes back to the top again. Select Quick Menu. Push your joystick up once, and you're going to select Overrides. Hit the A button to select Overrides. Then you're going to scroll down to where it says Save Game Overrides. Hit the A button. Now you're done. All you have to do is exit. So hit the B button once. Hit the B button twice. Go down to Quick Quit RetroWatch. And if you did it correctly, you should be able to load your game, and you should be good to go.